Uh, this is called Jordan Show and Tell. You've brought something into the studio that has some resonance for That's you, correct. and you want to show it to us. Yeah, I was gonna... asked to bring in a product that uh, that I identify with or that I believe in. Now, I'll start by saying that I try to buy very few products in my life. I believe that we can live minimally, but the products that I do buy, I want them to be of a very high quality. I want yeah. them to have something special about them, and then I have to buy fewer products going forward because they last longer. Now. Life used to be simple 25 years ago, okay? If you wanted to buy a nose hair trimmer in the United States, you may have bought the uh, Panasonic ER409. This is my own unit from about 25 years ago. So this, yes. let me explain to the viewer, you've just handed me what looks like a very small vibrator. Okay. Um, and it's a Panasonic. Yeah. And uh, this is from the 90s, 2000s? Sure. I don't have the exact lineage of it, but that's about the time I started trimming my nose hair. I can't tell you if it started growing in then or if I just became aware of it then, but this is a, a relic. This is an ancient relic. If you look on the bottom, you'll see that it's made in Japan, of course, Panasonic's headquarters. Mm -hmm. I never thought much about nose trimmers, but I didn't have to. I simply trimmed my nose hair with that, and you can trim ear hair as well if you choose. Um, and that was the end of it. The, right. uh, the, it was a successful operation. Yes. And then this, The operation was a success. The operation was a success. And then this product uh, was damaged. I may have dropped it. I don't remember. It may have just failed uh, due to its age. Nevertheless, if it I was around you for 20 years, it probably killed itself. <laughs> <laughs> to cut a tiny little gun and shot its brains out. <laughs> <laughs> Have you noticed that a lot of your products commit suicide at a certain point? <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. So, uh, when I went to replace it. I can't. I can't. I'm picturing all of your products have tiny little guns. <laughs> and every now and then in your house, you're trying to sleep and you hear a, pew, a tiny little shot. And you go in and, oh... My hair dryer's dead. <laughs> Sometimes they leave a little note. If I had to listen to him pronounce, pronounce Socratic <laughs> bullshit one more time. <laughs> oh, my God. My stomach hurts. My chest hurts. My whole body falling apart. I'm sorry. I respect inanimate objects, okay? It's like a Japanese mentality, okay? Mm -hmm. I treasure these. If they were sentient, I think they would value the way I treated them. Nevertheless, I went to replace this product when it was damaged. I live in the United States, and I was served this Panasonic ER411. This is disgusting. This uh, What? What looks, are you talking about? This is oversized. It's light and plastic. It looks like a rocket ship. The cutting mechanism I actually replaced. This had been discontinued, but I was able to buy the cutting part. I replaced it. Wait a minute. You bought... How much did that cost? I don't know. $15. Okay. $10. You buy a $15 yes. uh, nose trimmer. Yeah. And then you went to the trouble yes. to replace the blade? Yeah. This was an inadequate product. This was no longer made in Japan. It was made in a country that is arguably known for some uh, lower quality production methods. Uh, it, it, it looks like a rocket ship. It, it draws unnecessary attention to itself. It's a bright silver color. Um, this was what you would get as an American uh, after the glory days of nose hair trimmers. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't see a huge difference. This well, one, that's look telling like that you don't see a difference between those well, two objects. Well, one is silver and one is gray. We, we define ourselves by the objects we interact with every day. I surround myself with beauty, with high levels of aesthetic pleasure, and it's not only putting on beautiful clothes, it's also using a beautiful nose hair trimmer. It's also... Uh, understanding that everything we interact with defines our life. So I wanted a well-made product. I was not happy with this product, but I thought it was my only option. So I trimmed my nose hair unhappily with that product. And when did this one commit suicide? <laughs> <laughs> you found this guy hanging. <laughs> no. So then I visited the country of Japan <clears throat> uh -huh. and I found out that Panasonic sells a different nose hair trimmer model for the Japanese clientele. Oh, so they sell us the inferior one. The ER GN10, and look how sleek and stylish this product is. This thing feels amazing in the hand. It's perfectly balanced. It's reminiscent of my old ER409. This is from why do you know years this, ago. Why this do you, is from today. Why do you know the serial numbers? And since I was in Japan, 
I, I knew that this was not going to last forever, despite the fact that it is still made in Japan in a high quality. So I bought spares, and then I found that they, on my second trip, they had come out with the ER, uh, they, originally it was the ERGN 10, then they came out with the ERGN 11. I bought two of those. One, this still serves me successfully. I just used it today, but, the, but one day this will meet its end. Now I do not have to worry about availability issue. I've got spare. I love that no those are still cameras. in the box. They and are still in the box. They're still in the box, and yet they've killed themselves. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me see this. Look at the beautiful, just look at the packaging. I mean, this is clearly a product made for a clientele that demands high quality products. Look why at your eyes. Sell, you look insane. Why do they sell this to Americans and this beauty? Why do they sell this disgusting rocket ship to Americans and this beautiful piece of machinery to the Japanese clientele? Well, I mean, I, I just, I don't understand the logic of that. But nevertheless. How many of these did you buy? I bought uh, four of them, but the but the don't point you, is now I can see you being a little worried that you should have bought a fifth. You take what you're given. I don't know what kind of nose hair trimmer you you just buy whatever's available. I seek out high quality wherever on the planet it may lie. What did, what do you even use to trim your nose I use hair? Little, you don't have a hair and makeup person anymore. Little scissors. Oh, thanks for saying you, you don't have a hair and makeup person <laughs> Wait a anymore. Second. Wait a minute. Why why do you why do you have to bring that up? That's hurtful. I mean, what does that have to do with anything? You don't employ your hair and makeup person. What are you is talking that, about? Is that I still do. Insulting? I still do big gigs. I still do live shows. Okay, of course, so you may contract one intermittently, but I'm saying that's not going to take care of your nose hair on a regular basis. You use I a use scissor? little scissors. How do you get rid of that quantity of hair with a simple manual what are you device talking like about? that? My, my nose is not pumping out what tons is, of hair every there gotta, day. There's got to be over a hundred hair, individual hairs between those two nostrils. <laughs> what are you? Are you telling me? I use a the, little scissors. How long I, does that even take? And it's a little bit curved. Are you confident in the quality of your work? I, I just don't under, I know that if I look in that nose right now and I show a light in there, if you're using manual scissors, there's no way you're accomplishing well, it. Well, you know what I do? Whisker removal. I make little, I'm like Edward Scissorhands, I make little topiaries. I have a little dinosaur in this one <laughs> and I you, have it's not a lizard often, in that. It's not often talked about. You have hair removal challenges. You have shaving problems and you always have. What I'll you, come you, in and I'll see huge about? patches of hair on your face. Isolated patches of hair. I don't know how, when you have resources available to you, I don't know how this passes inspection. I'll come in one day, you've got like a little, you've shaved, but you've got like a tuft of red hair under your under your nose where, where your mustache would be. You've got like a random, your neck a lot of times has like, you have shaving problems. And just acknowledge. Say, say, what, what, say about my neck. You have shoving, say, you'll, you'll, just say, have a say clump of, you'll have a clump of hair sticking out of your neck in an arbitrary position. Do you want to know what the problem is? What's Would you that? like me to tell you? Yeah. Okay, I get very bad, I have very sensitive skin, yeah. and when I shave my throat, I get those razor bumps. You're telling me you deliberately leave that hair there? You think that looks no, better than I don't a red deliber neck? No, I, I don't deliberately leave it there. Do you I see it? I shave it, but sometimes I try to be a, do a cursory job so I don't irritate the skin too much, and maybe Jeez. I leave a stray hair. And you know what? This is hurtful. No, this is this not is a stray hurtful. hair. This is a clump of hair. Hurtful. I'm not concerned with hurtful. individual hairs. Hurtful. I'm just asking you. Hurtful. Do you feel, if you can improve in some way by listening to the things I have to say, why do you have to ridicule? I'm, I'm not ridiculing. Buy this product. You have the, you have the means. Why, why do I have to buy it? Scissor? You've got How 15 in a scissor? bag, you motherfucker. How Give me one. Why, why are you saying I have to I'm buy one? I'm not giving you one of these. Yes, you are. I don't I have the resources you. you have. What are you talking about? I'll buy one from you for twice its price. You paid eight dollars to me. I'll this, give you sixteen. This is priceless to me. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put a price tag on this. The ERG hundred dollars. If someone's give doing something better than you, don't ridicule. Just be like, I learned something. I'll give Thank you hundred dollars. Oh, it's Socrates. Oh, it's Kaiser. I understand. Oh, you can be more efficient shaving your nose. I'll give you two hundred dollars. I'll give you two hundred dollars. Okay. <laughs> Say yes! Shake on it. That's 200 clams that you're going to get that uh, you made a huge profit give, give on that. Give it to me right now. Oh, I don't, do I have $200 on me? I, might, I don't know if I do. Maybe I do. I'm not giving it back. <laughs> don't expect that when we walk out of this door, I'm giving it back. You don't have to give it back. Do you want the ERGN 10 or the GN 11? What the difference is it? I don't know. I'm not clear on what the difference is. All right, that's something I'm curious about, but it's written in Japanese, so you can get Well, someone. what's the latest version? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to guess if there's the ERGN 10 and the ERGN 11. I'm going to guess maybe the GR ERGN 11 is more recent. Maybe they're you, going in a backwards lumbering scheme. If I ever see the uh, GN 9, I know that that's a steal. I mean, these are just basic questions. I don't need to read Japanese or understand anything specific about nose hair. Just give me everything you have. 
No. <laughs> you think you have more than 200 in cash on you? Yeah. I go to strip clubs sometimes. <laughs> I think that's, uh, you were yelling at me and you you upset me because yeah. you uh, said that I my face was all fucked up. And um, I'm just saying you have room for improvement. This is nothing to be ashamed about. This is something to embrace. I can help you improve. Two, okay, there's 100. Really, 200? What if we go? You little, offer 200. I know, but what if I, what if I, I take it down a little bit now? No. Uh, I'll give you 100. Hold on, hold on. You want 200 seals the deal? Yeah. Okay, there it is. It's 200 dollars. Okay, which one do you want? Why don't you, do you choose? Want, take this. Do you want this one? No, I want the one. I want one in a box, asshole. So do I don't you, want one that's been up your ass two hours ago. No, this is not what I use for my ass. Oh, what did you use for that? Listen. What goes up there? Seriously. We. What goes up the old bottom? I don't. I don't <laughs> remove uh, hair in that area. Why would you leave that there? Why? I, I don't have any problem with that hair. <laughs> what do you mean? I, I have no problem with that area. Why do one orifice and not just... This one is visible. Well. This one is, uh, you know, displayed. Uh-huh. Yeah. I think the other's been displayed at times, <laughs> frankly. You know, a lot of the hair trimmers, they like to take over your whole bathroom. They have accessories. They have display stands. I'm, I'm scared of a number that high. I feel like it might be a little too bit too deluxe. I like a minimal. What battery yeah. does this take? That takes a double A battery. I recommend do we have a, an alkaline. Do we have a double A around here? I'd like to try and see if I can get this thing going. Well, see I've if got I've... a double A in mind. You may not want the nose trimmer itself, but you could take my battery, I hope. Yeah, I'll take I the mean, battery. I mean, the battery's been in indirect contact with my nose and ears. It's okay. This is brand new. Now, right you stick that up your nose, and if I hear if I hear a grinding sound. Hear that? Yeah, I hear it. Hear that? Yep. Yeah. If I hear a grind. <laughs> You're clearly not doing a good job with your scissors. That's all. That was all left behind. So that what you're hear what you're hearing is the actual grinding of some hair. I think I did a pretty good job with scissors. Not from what I'm hearing. That. Oh my god. They, each oh, one my these, god. Each oh my one god. Oh my god. Blasts has like four hairs in it. What do you mean blast? And it what just keeps you... going. You're just still in the same nostril. I'm you haven't still even in the same moved nostril. on to left. So how often do you do this? You do this every day? Uh, every Tuesday and Friday, I find it the most efficient days to remove hair. You know what? Hair. I hope. <clears throat> I do hope oh, you're God. murdered soon. Oh, this is a new nostril. Yeah, you haven't even gotten to your ears yet. Ears? Yeah. Do you still feel like your quaint scissor method is efficient? You know what? I have to say this is better. Yeah. This is better than the scissors. And you don't have to worry about this disgusting device. And you claim that you don't learn anything or that there's no value in the knowledge that I have. And look at you now. <laughs> look at you now. You know what I love? I love that your look at you now is about this. You know, it's supposed to be about something bigger, like you said that you were better than me, and that was 50 years ago, but now I encounter you and encounter you and you're a hobo. Look at you now! But you use it on, you said that my information was incorrect, but I suggested this nose hair trimmer, and now you're using it. Look at you now! It's so small.